Let's use heat capacities to determine a relative temperature change. What I'm going to do is take hot molybdenum metal, a kilogram. So think about taking molybdenum metal, heating it in a flame till it's red hot, and then plunging it into a kilogram of water at room temperature. The question I have is, which will experience the greater temperature change? Will the metal change by a greater temperature, the water by a greater temperature, or will they both change by the same temperature? Think about that for a minute and make a selection. Let's look at a possible explanation for each answer. A, the heat exchange is equal, but water has a higher heat capacity, so it'll have a smaller change in temperature. B, the final temperatures will be the same, so they'll both change equally. Or C, water will boil if hot metal is added, so it will have the larger change in temperature. Think about those three and make a selection. We're talking about plunging hot metal molybdenum, a kilogram, in to cool water. So what's going to happen? Well, the heat from the metal will go into the water. And that's where we apply the first law of thermodynamics. Every joule of heat lost by the metal is absorbed by the water. You could call the metal the system, the water the surroundings, but they transfer energy joule for joule, and no joules are lost. Now, the amount of heat transferred is the same, but the heat capacities are not the same. So that means these temperature changes don't have to be the same. So let's look at the heat capacity of the metal. If we go to a table, we find most metals have a heat capacity of about 25 joules per mole degree Kelvin. And molybdenum has a molar mass of around 100, so its specific heat capacity per gram is about a quarter of a joule per gram degree Kelvin. Water, let's look at that heat capacity, around four joules to change the temperature of one gram of water by one degree. So the two specific heat capacities are off by a factor of 16. So if one joule leaves the system, it could change the metal temperature by 16 degrees, but the water temperature by only one degree. That's the difference in heat capacities. So in this case, the metal will cool off by 16 degrees every time it loses a joule, compared to the same amount of water warming by only one degree when it absorbs those joules. So in this case, the temperature of the metal will change more than the temperature of the water. 